I love it when uh, different types of bigotry come together. And I got five or six emails from our Australian viewers this morning of what they say is an example of both homophobia coming together with racism. And it's of demoted former Australian cabinet mis minister Eric Abetz, who has used the term Negro while defending his opposition to same sex marriage during a radio interview. I have the audio from two UEs. Justin Smith program uh, earlier today in Australia. And uh, here is Mr. Abbott using the term Negro, which is widely considered an offensive term in 2015. Let's take a listen. Those sort of analogies are quite offensive, and that sort of. No, it's not. I, it is not no, offensive. It was, well, was let's... completely debunked by Justice Clarence Thomas, the Negro. Uh, American on the Supreme Court of the United Negro. States dealing with this issue, who dissented on the issue of marriage as well, and so trying to bring race into it has now been completely dropped. Okay, so there it is, and um, uh, he he said Negro American, which is also not a term I had heard before. The Oxford Dictionary says that the word Negro is an offensive term refer referring to a member of a black or dark skinned group of peoples that exist or originated in Africa south of the Sahara. It also is sometimes used, Lewis. It's a name used by colonists in Australia to the aboriginal people. And in November of last year, the U.S. Army was forced to apologize after it turned out that an official policy said it was acceptable to refer to black service members as Negroes. So what is going on with the term Negro? It is obviously offensive. It is. There is no doubt of that whatsoever. But the fact that it still remained up until recently, for example, in the U.S. Navy uh, 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 guidelines, the fact that Martin Luther King used the term in his speeches, the fact that we still have the legacy organizations, the United Negro College Fund and the Journal of Negro Education published by Howard University dating back to 1932 tells us that if you, you you should not use this term, it is an offensive term, full stop. However, we can't necessarily assume that anyone who uses it is racist against black people or thinks less of black people by virtue of them being black. In many cases, it really could just be ignorance. Right. Like when Benedict Cumberbatch uh, not too long ago referred to someone as colored, I think it was. He's, uh, you know, it wasn't because he's racist or there was anything malicious there. He just didn't realize that that was not uh, really a desirable term. Right. Yeah. No question about it. At the same time, when you have someone who is both anti-gay and using the term Negro, I understand why ears perk up because these sorts of bigotry often have ways of intersecting that are not really that surprising to us here in the United States. Yeah, but I have a question for you, Dave, as a Spanish speaker, when you say a black person in Spanish, what do you say? Well, yeah, but right. Th th but this is different, right? Because the yes, you're talking about the fact that the word for black in Spanish and the term Negro are exactly the same. But but the, the definition is different because you're saying a black person and it's yeah. completely different. Yes, I know. I was just curious. So you would say it the same way in Spanish, right? Well, you're talking about yeah. Negro versus yeah, yeah. Negro. Oh, I, was just, right? I was just out of sheer curiosity. Yeah. I'm not I'm not saying that, you know, you shouldn't say it that way in Spanish. I was yeah. just curious. That's no, all. no. And and uh, and I do appreciate that curiosity. Yeah. So uh, what do, what do we say? Basically, yeah, this it's an offensive term. This guy should know better. But uh, to, to say that he definitely hates black people in the same way that he's homophobic. We can't say that with certitude, Lewis, at least at this point. <laughs> Right. We, we hear. But, you know, maybe we'll learn more about him as this thing has gone completely viral.